Hello and welcome back to another one of my uh, quick presentations about mock trial. This one is submitting exhibits 101. I'm going to talk about basic exhibits, how they're submitted and how they're received by the court into evidence. The key to understand here is why do you do it? Well, let's say you want a witness to talk about a document, a letter, a contract, a photograph, for example. You can't do that. That is, they cannot talk about the exhibit until that exhibit is received by the court into evidence, which requires a ruling on its admissibility. Now, for today, we're assuming very simple, straightforward exhibits that do not have any admissibility issues. Check back later on for further episodes about how to deal with exhibits when they do have evidentiary concerns. So your process is very straightforward. Once you do this a couple of times, you'll have it down. First, you're going to mark your exhibit. This requires going up to the clerk and asking the clerk to mark the exhibit, usually the exhibit A, B, C, maybe one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Most attorneys are going to do what's called pre-mark their exhibit, which means exhibits will already have received a tag prior to the trial beginning. But if they didn't, for whatever reason, it's not a big deal. The clerk can still mark it for you. Then you're going to take your exhibit that you've marked, let's say it's exhibit A, you're going to give the witness the marked copy, and you're going to give the opposing counsel a copy of that. Then it's very simple. You ask the witness to identify the exhibit, and I'm going to show you what this looks like in an example in a moment. Once the witness has looked at the exhibit and properly identified the exhibit, you ask the court to move it into evidence. And I do mean that specifically. You would say, Your Honor, I move exhibit A into evidence. I move exhibit seven into evidence. Assuming that there's no objections, which we're guessing are unlikely in this case, then the exhibit is received by the court and now the witness can read it. Now the witness can talk about it. So let's do a very quick and straightforward example. Let's pretend that we have a run of the mill civil case. We need to prove damages which means we need to just prove what the plaintiff spent as a result of an accident. So we've got this bill that the plaintiff paid, and we need to get that into evidence so that the jury can decide how much money to give our client. So let's say we take our exhibit and we have it marked by the clerk. They're going to mark it as exhibit A. We have a copy. We give a copy to the opposing counsel. We walk our receipt up to the witness, hand it to them. We ask them, do you recognize exhibit A? They will, of course, say, yes, I do. We then ask them, what is exhibit A? And they would say, oh, this is a copy of a chiropractor bill that I received and paid as a result of the accident. You would then turn to the judge and say, your honor, I move exhibit A because the witness has explained how they know what it is. That's what I mean by identify the exhibit. The witness has to be able to explain to the court that they have firsthand knowledge of how this document came into being. They do, of course, and so we move it into evidence. There's no objection from opposing counsel because this is their chiropractor bill. They paid it. There's no reasonable objection. And by the way, you're not going to do yourself any favors by making needless objections that you have no chance of winning. Attorneys don't do that, and it's not good as a matter of strategy or just common practice. Once the exhibit is moved into evidence, then we can go ahead and ask the witness, based on exhibit A, can you tell me how much you paid for chiropractor services? You couldn't ask that question until the exhibit is moved into evidence. That's it. That's all you do. It's a very simple, straightforward procedure for most basic documentary evidence. As I said, there can be more complicated issues, but in, I would say, 95% of cases, this is how the procedure is going to go, and all it takes to get used to it is practice.